Since 1985, doctoral students, university professors, members of the ETH Zurich and other academic institutions in Switzerland and all over the world had been meeting in Cortona, Italy, the home of the Renaissance. Every year, philosophers, artists, psychologists, monks, musicians, and others come together to focus on values currently neglected in scientific academic education, such as the arts, emotions and psyche, religiosity and bodywork. The Cortona Residency, a medieval monastery, is a beautiful and colorful gathering of about 150 participants who spend a week together attending lectures and participating in creativity, theoretical, and self-awareness workshops in order to promote and foster transdisciplinary thinking within the natural sciences. Well, Cortuna is a special kind of community. First of all, we have this separation into lectures in the morning, and then in the afternoon, three sections of different activities which fall under the different topics, creativity, self-awareness, and theoretical. It's not only the scientific, interaction. It is artistic interaction, it is dialogue all the time, and a kind of social community evolves from that. Our civilization is shaped by natural scientists, computer scientists, and material scientists, all of whom have generally been well educated for their future professions. Opportunities for experiencing other important aspects of life, such as the humanities, spirituality, music and art, have, however, been rare to say nothing of body awareness and psychosomatic and emotional processes. Thus, a potential danger exists that our academic institutions turn out professionals who are not adequately prepared for life at large. Furthermore, the problems of today's world are so complex and multifaceted that they cannot be solved by any one discipline, thus the need for an interdisciplinary approach. No matter how good scientist you are, when you are only dealing with your own discipline, uh, in time you are dried out, you have no more new ideas, you keep repeating the old things and sometimes the best thing to do is to expose yourself to something which is different and even completely alien to, to your discipline. In some ways that I don't uh, pretend to, to understand, it does increase your creativity. A large number of workshops is offered. This huge variety is one of the most salient characteristics of the Cortona week. The idea is not to encourage each participant to do everything. On the contrary, the recommendation is that each participant selects only those few work directions which most closely correspond to her or his wholeness to complete her or his education. Uh, there is the possibility to meet insights embodied in a kind of practical doing, as for IKD. Aikido or Tai Chi, and this is a very interesting thing for me as a philosopher, that there are insights which can be studied only by doing it, by seeing it, by having a bodily example of it.
Great care is taken to choose speakers who are well recognized in their academic or professional field, because by no means should the high scientific standard of Cortona Week be lowered by the quest for interdisciplinarity. Furthermore, whenever possible, speakers are chosen so that they are able to provide an example of interdisciplinarity through their own lives. They should be teachers in the real sense of the word. to have leading experts of their scientific fields, we also want to have personalities, characters, and at the same time people who have large didactical skills and standards. The students appreciate these people very much because of their scientific, personal and human authority they have an influence, an instantaneous influence on the discussions and on the acceptance of the young people. The impact of seven days of intensive work can be very powerful for alerting people to the awareness of new aspects of life and in fostering a change of perspectives. The efficiency of this process is increased by the fact that all participants live in the same place, eat at the same table, that workshop teachers are available for the entire residency. Interdisciplinary discussions and experimentation are going on all week, at all hours of the day. I know that a lot of things which I heard in Cortona uh, went later into my teaching. It became part of what I wanted to tell to the new generation which is important about their own future. We had a big um, podium where all the speakers of the second part of the week had been introduced by the students, by uh, the introduction and the questions of students. This kind of, of introduction to, to see even the to teacher, the, the master, the professor, as a person with a rich and a non-academic personality is a very important and interesting thing. What is it that motivates you in your work and in your research that brings you a kind of spark that makes you go on after struggle and difficulties? <laughs> we had a lot of delegations from the United States, from MIT, from Berkeley, uh, University of Tokyo. But I think there are some new channels being opened. One which I know is by the European community, which tries to set up an intercultural network of European universities. Um, there may be other channels coming up. And this is probably due to a very much changed uh, attitude towards uh, our global situation. It is not anymore an economic issue, it is a cultural, an environmental and a survival issue. And in this respect, the Cortona model may be one piece of mosaic which could be very helpful.
Renaissance feeling that you get and what we are engaged in uh, and what Cortona is spearheading is, is a kind of Renaissance for our own time.